Hello my lovelies. So today we're going to be reviewing the Gilded Reverie Lenormand Expanded Edition. Now this is the mini decks of the 21 decks of Christmas I got. Somebody sent me 21 decks anonymously. So grateful for it. Please send more <laughs> if you can. Um, and they're numbered 1 through 44 and they have The, 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 these come without the book. I actually printed out here the PDF version of it. I only had to look at it once. It's pretty simple. Like if you've read Tarot before. And like for number 44, which is the last one. Magnifying glass, right? Magnifying glass. And then it has a corresponding card beneath it. But this one is like, I guess the Ace of All suits. I don't know. It's like looking, I would look at this and think looking at things clearly, trying to see things, look at the minute details, right? And here it says, I am the card that suggests to you to take a closer look or two, right? So I printed it out and it came out big like this, which is good because I'm so tired of these little books. If you did not get clarity from an earlier view, I can provide more focus and perspective that is new. I like that they rhyme. This card suggests you need to take a closer look at a current situation. Now it's time to focus, scrutinize, and analyze. You might be overlooking something that isn't apparent or even visible. The smallest details may be vitally important. Use a magnifying glass to help you investigate and uncover more information that could lead you to a greater clarity. In a reading, the card to the left is what seems like, but wait, what it seems like before taking a closer look. Card to the left. And the card to the right suggests what will be brought to light after a closer look. Ooh, this is good. I might buy the original. <laughs> this card can be a warning that all is not what it seems at first. Be careful to read the fine print. If the card appears with the letter 27, book 26, or ring. Oh, if it appears with the letter, the book, or the ring, it may mean you have to examine a document, contract, information, or commitment more carefully. The clouds card nearby reinforces the idea that things are still a little murky. I love this. I like this. This card might also suggest a financial audit or legal investigation. In the realm of emotional issues, the magnifying glass suggests a preoccupation. You may be focusing on something too much. Your obsessive thinking might be what's obscuring your reality. Okay, first of all, I love this PDF because to be honest with you, I need, I'm at the point in my life where I need reading glasses. <laughs> and I'm not trying to pull out my reading glasses every time. I do love this deck. I'm keeping it for myself. I wasn't going to give it away, but I really do like it now. Um, so let's go through them. We have the magnifying glass and the labyrinth. Like things might be confusing. You can't find your way out. Um, you know, you're probably joyful or playful, something like that. You have the compass where you need direction and the well. The well I would have to look up. You're seeking a new direction. You're seeking to go somewhere, something like that. Then you have the mask and the dice. You're either taking a gamble or a chance. Uh, someone's not showing their true self. So this is how I would interpret it. I'm not saying this is what it is. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta read the book. And uh, the links below will always be for the originals. And I will always tell you if they don't have the guidebook, that means that it's the mini deck because I couldn't find anything with the original. You can find a lot of these on other websites, but I only put the links below that support this channel. Sometimes I'll put links below that don't support the channel um, just so that you guys can have it. You have the clock and the bridge, probably trying to bridge and mend situations, make connections depending on what other card is next to it. Uh, being on time, wasting time, procrastinating, um, not having enough time, stuff like that, depending on what's next to it. The cross, which I would think is faith and the anchor, which is being held down or grounded or stable. The fish, I have no idea. I'd have to look at it. And the key, the key obviously is opening something, but it's a cage. So getting out of your cage, maybe, uh, the fish, I would think underwater, something seems fishy doesn't seem right. It's a little bit off. You might feel like you're drowning. Then you have the moon and the sun. Oh, that's cute. If you want to do like tarot, then the moon would be like changing or keeping secrets or 
you know, doing things at night. And then the other one is the sun, doing things during the day, being happy, um, getting enough vitamin D. Vitamin D. Then you have some type of flower. I think, I don't know if it's a lily. I can't, I don't know what it's called. And something seductive. Well, I have to take that off because, you know. Then you have the handsome man. He's sexy. And this other woman. Oh. It was something. Okay. I'll, I'll read them to you. It's like the fair male. 27, 28, 29. Hold on. You have the man. The man too. The lady and lady too. And then that was Lily's. So this is the man. The other one was man too. And then you have the letter. And you have the book and the ring, which they were talking about before. I'm going to pull two cards at the end and we can kind of figure out what that means. We have the swans, which has love there. And then the mouse with food. It's like a little greedy little mouse, curious, surviving. Then you have the staircase and the mountain, which to me looks like you're moving up, elevating, being grounded and strong, overcoming difficulties, climbing. Then you have the menagerie, isn't that what it's called? And the castle, let me see what it's called here. Might be the greenhouse, but let me just look. 20 and 19. The tower and the park. Okay, then you have the dog and uh, stork. The stork could be like bringing a baby or bringing good news. The dog could be a faithful, loyal, loving companion that makes a lot of noise, it's loud. <laughs> then you have the zodiac and the bear, the polar bear. Wow, Polar Express, that's what I'm thinking of right now. Then you have the fox and the child and then you have the owl which is probably wisdom and the sparrow is that what no what kind of bird is that I don't know 12 they both say 12 isn't that interesting I know there's 12a and 12b I remember that there's two types of birds one is called doom, 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 birds and birds too. <laughs> birds is like a phone call, a text, some type of communication that's coming in. And birds too is communication that's of a less frivolous nature. It's about wisdom, some knowledge that's coming in. Then you have the broom and the sickle. It's really interesting because, and then you have like the jack of, which is what, the page of, Wands and the page of swords. Then you have the flowers and Anubis. Is it Anubis? Let's see, eight. They call it a scythe, not a sickle. Coffin. That's a coffin. That's a coffin. The snake and the sky, right? The clouds. The tree and I would have called it the yunk and something. The house. That doesn't look like a house. I mean, it is a house, but mm, I don't know. Oh, then you have the ship and some more flowers. Clover. It's called a clover. They're focusing on the clover, but then they put those things that you make a wish on. Oh, well, maybe because you're making a wish. And number one, which is weird because this is a 44 card deck, right? Or 45. The carousel. Let's see. Hold on. 44 cards. So why is it uneven? Hmm. The writer. They call her the writer. Oh, because it, the 12A and the 12B, that's why. So it's, no, it's still 44 cards. 
No, because it's 12A and 12B. That's why. It messed it up. Okay. I keep hearing that song over and over and over again. Got a pee pee in the So now we're going to do the shuffle roll. They bend quickly. It's only 44 cards. See how quickly they bent? I have two cards for my collective so we can figure out how this works. Give them an idea how the cards work. They're more like oracle cards, clearly. One, two. Oh, okay. Eight. Okay. So, I have to pee. <laughs> Sorry. You got the ship and you got the park. So the ship would be that you want to go somewhere, you're looking to travel, but the, to a majestic, beautiful place, some place where you feel at peace and you feel calm. This is what I'm thinking. So it's number three and 20. The ship, you need to take a vacation or business trip. You will need a suitcase for where you're going. Distance is what I'm known for and I'm constantly in motion looking at the cards next to me for clues. To the changes that bring in your life's journey and then the nature of the journey will usually be pleasant and well favored such as a holiday depending on ever upon the cards that surround it and then you got 20 20 20 20 20 20 i'm really hyper i had coffee and a coke this is a lot for me when you're going to a party or a concert or a business meeting i'm sure maybe it's a conference I am sure to show up in a reading. You will find me at a reunion, a retreat, a riot, a picnic. I am I like crowds and public events, so naturally I'm good with any networking intents. Yep. So you're probably traveling for work or a conference, a, a picnic, a reunion, something like that. Hmm. And if you keep reading, you can go even further. This is really cool. I'm keeping these out. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Okay. okay, that's all I got for you guys. If you want to support the channel, you can donate below. Um, I will use them to buy more tarot cards. If you want to send me tarot cards because you have your own deck or you just want to send me cards that you don't want, the address is below. Um, yeah. Like, subscribe, share. Use the links below if you want to support the channel. That just gives me credits so that I can buy more cards. Thank you guys. Bye.